a few look back at the highlights of the session, the uh, session from the afternoon, the pre-qualifying, beginning with Hubert Haupt's Mercedes, very busy indeed, working its way through traffic. The pre-qualifying session, not necessarily about times, more about setup of cars, but 55 McLaren twice in the walls and ultimately bringing out a red flag to curtail the fun. Gary Kondakoff put his Ferrari big time into the gravel. That actually could be retrieved with the help of marshals and a snatch vehicle and get it back out again. Alex Buncombe's Nissan was carving its way through traffic, trying to find a clear road, but it was not easy. Every time you thought you got a clear bit of circuit, there was something or somebody in the way. But when there was a clear bit of road, the Nissan was quick and Alex Buncombe dragged it up the order. And at the end of the session, it was an Audi topping the times once more. The number one WRT car, the quickest. Others were launching themselves over the curves. And once more, Club Corner was the scene of lots of people running wide. The Andre Berzin, number 25 Ferrari, getting in the way of a Nissan heading up towards the loop. But 23, looking for a gap. Proof of just how busy the session was. And lap after lap, people complaining about traffic. BMW, Ferrari, Nissan, and further back, McLaren, amongst the different brands represented. And 333, the car that inherited the win at Monza, this time in the Pro Cup, looking very rapid in the hands of Norbert Siedler. That is a car to watch when we get to qualifying here tomorrow. The second round of the Blanc Pan Endurance Series is going to be another of the traditional three-hour format. And, of course, it's the three-part qualifying session, one session per driver. It all starts at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Join us for that. From OJ Borg, John Watson and David Addison, for now, it's goodbye. We'll see you at 9 a.m.